A week had passed, and Gaz had been proving himself to the organization. He had earned another promotion, but there was something more important about today. Using the criminal network and some very old connections, Gaz managed to get the organization to send him a specialist. It had taken all week by boat, but when he returned to his shack, Fujiko Mine was waiting for him. Gaz had met Fujiko a few times while living in Monopolville. He hoped that, as former head of the local syndicate there, she could help make his own plans a reality. While Gaz slept, Fujiko did a little redecorating. After all, if she was going to stay in this dump, she would at least need a place to sleep. Gaz had some time off a few days later, and he decided it was the perfect opportunity to finally take a trip to Egypt. Being a land of lost treasures and priceless relics, Fujiko was happy to go along. Al-Simhara was a beautiful yet foreboding place of fascinating history, mystery, and intrigue. But Gaz didn't have time for any of that. He had to see a man about a painting. Unfortunately, his work was not the quality the relic dealer was looking for. Clearly there had been a misunderstanding, which Gaz blamed on the man's accent and being half awake when he had called in the middle of the night. Determined not to make the trip a total waste, he went to meet a local contact named Mahmoud, whom he had heard dealt in black market goods. Meanwhile, back at the base camp, Fujiko had managed to entice a few lonely archaeologists into telling her about the nearby tombs. It turned out that one had been newly discovered right there in camp, and she decided to explore it herself before the stuffy academics could take everything. Aside from a few old coins, Fujiko also found a pricey-looking artifact deep in the tomb. Well, it was something, but certainly not the room full of gold she'd hoped for. That evening over dinner, Gaz and Fujiko talked about the future. Fujiko suggested stealing some priceless artwork to gain notoriety, and Gaz mentioned his dream of installing a rocket inside the island's volcano back home. After that, they washed up and went to bed. They would be leaving in the morning. Back at home, the two spent some time unwinding. The trip had been fun, and with his new partner in crime, Gaz felt he could refocus his attention on making his plans come true.